Welcome to another battle commentary. This game was part of the team championship uh, 2021. Artus and me played for Unity against uh, Grokel and Goldie. They participated for the Insect Clan. We chose the map Pyramids for this battle, so we are the attackers. This is me playing as Great Britain. This is Artus playing as France. This is Krokel playing as Ottoman Empire. And here we have Goldilocks playing as Prussia. I played a pretty standard build uh, with my British forces, um, with five lights, two cavalry, two guards, the Connaught Rangers and a lot of lines and one fencible unit. Um, Goldie did the same. He played the classic standard build with Prussia with four cavalry and five lights of course. But the Ottomans have an interesting build. We actually expected them to, to play with a lot of lights as well here in the open. But he decided for a rush build. He has two sword units, one Bashi Bashuk and one uh, Kemat Janissaries a lot of line infantry and 8 cavalry, 7 mounted Nisimichidit uh, shooter cuff and 1 Silata guard and also he brought the 6 star general Ahmed al Shassar. Atos, uh, as I said, uh, expected a light infantry force and brought 4 light infantry, one of them being the 6th Regiment d'Infanterie Légère and three Voltigeus. He has six cavalry, all of them being chasseurs Uh Two old guards here on the flank, because if uh, he expects uh, uh, a, I if there is a uh, an Ottoman push, he expected it uh, for his left flank. One, two, three, four, Swiss foot. The 18th Regiment of Entrée de Ligne and one Fusiliers of the Line. You can see that there is a gap between us in the center, so far at least, because uh, my standard, my standard tactic uh, for the pyramids from the side is uh, playing for the village, of course, uh, but uh, concentrating on the right and the center. This uh, is because their, the terrain uh, is kind of in favor of the attacker here. Uh, you can see this, this ridge over here. And if I uh, can get there before he gets here, that's also possible from defender side. Um, then I have the advantage of uh, using that ridge against uh, his lights in the light infantry combat. Over here, um, there is a bazaar in the middle, and the Tana is quite tricky, as you can see. There are a lot of small hills and ridges, but the main ridge is here. And if you can get this ridge and deploy your troops up here, you have uh, quite a good position. France is a good counter against the Ottomans, because uh, the Ottomans don't have any guards, and the, uh, the fr uh, French army has uh, the best guard in the game, the old guard, which uh, also intimidates uh, the, uh, the enemy. And the Ottomans have to react uh, by sending their good general or inspiring units, namely the Silata Guard, uh, somewhere where the combat is. So uh, the Ottomans have to have their general always close to the uh, to the action to uh, hold up against the the French forces. Um, 
the French cavalry is uh, pretty strong as well. The Ottomans have very good cavalry, but the French have the best in total. So uh, he has a lot more cavalry than than Athos in this case, but uh, they can keep up definitely with the uh, with the Ottoman forces. Okay. So we will see how it goes. Artus moves uh, down there to take this ridge. Um, there is this uh, small <laughs> this wagon and uh, <laughs> other things, and this does not allow you to deploy your troops as you want. So this is a bit tricky. Also there is this small thing where you can't deploy troops so you better uh, move around this uh, this area here. There is still the gap between us and they have a lot of troops in the middle so normally I uh, go in directly on the right but I saw this gap and was scared if I uh, commit a, an attack on the right with too many forces that I cannot uh, send forces in time to close this gap anymore. So I played very cautious. As I said uh, previously, the, uh, this ridge is quite useful. He did not uh, move up uh, quick, uh, quick enough to, to get it. So uh, I am in position now. My fencibles are approaching to attract the first volleys of the light infantry normally, which are not in the front row yet. There they come. But you can see that, as I said, there are a lot of forces in here, in the center, and my troops are not yet in position. I moved the Connard Rangers to close this gap. Here is also a quite uh, good position for light infantry. They can, they have a good line of sight here, and the protection line is behind the ridge. So I can, uh, if if a cavalry attack comes here, I can uh, form squares and retreat my light uh, light infantry, and he can't shoot my squares. <coughs> Atos did not get this uh, ridge. He didn't want to move in uh, too far uh, against the Ottoman rush force. <coughs> he deployed uh, stakes here with his Voltigeurs. That's also a very good thing for France against the Ottomans, that uh, the Voltigeurs, a cheap unit can uh, deploy stakes and this makes uh, maneuvers f uh, for the Ottoman cavalry uh, quite more risky. Okay, here we have a micro mistake by, uh, by Goldie. He gave an attack order on the fencibles but they are slightly behind the ridge and if you when you give an attack order uh, they will not just start shooting, they will uh, m move to a uh, more or less perfect position in um, talking about line of sight. So they did not have a great line of sight, you can see that they uh, can only see the, the heads. So when there is a an attack order given, they start moving up. So that's why they got shot by these uh, by these units. They deployed uh, the fusiliers now, and I am I have my King's German Legion light foot here. The Kemachene series are also here, and he moves up his musketeers. My Connard Rangers close the gap, and I hope that I will send my foot guards <laughs> here soon because I don't have any backlines in the center. The Ottoman lines are shooting 
the voltages and they are concentrating a lot of cavalry in the center. I see this finally and send my foot guards as a backline but we still don't have enough around here and also as I said this is a problem to deploy troops and this is exactly the point where they uh, where they are attacking but yeah Atos uh, sends his chasseur cheval here but you see that they are bugging around this uh, this wagon half of the unit or a third of the unit shot my foot infantry they didn't hit anything <laughs> for some reason so I can move up my colored ranges but, but he sees it and uh, the attack begins here uh, Atos moved uh, his uh, chasseur cheval behind the lines to be ready to to kill the Bashi Bushuk and also to shoot the cavalry the problem is that if I form a square the anti targets the chasseur cheval behind they will charge through the square so you uh, have to watch out uh, to uh, keep distance between units so uh, they they cannot break the squares here is what I uh, described earlier uh, I retreated the line infantry the mounted Nisamichidit are incoming my are coming across the ridge my back line is shooting and they cannot uh, cannot move up and shoot my square if I have to form one and also they cannot shoot the light infantry anymore here is what I also said that, that he broke the square by targeting the, the chasseur cheval behind I lost 40 men or 30 I think I lost 10 by the fire of the light infantry as well the fusiliers have to retreat the bush is flat with 46 but they will come back and the Ottoman general is too far away to boost uh, the moral of the mounted rifles that's, that's why they uh, they have such low moral here so we fought off the the first wave of attack here but the next one <laughs> will <laughs> will come soon you see another concentration of cavalry here I continue the light fight I have a great position here as I said the foot guards are uh, walking sideways that's nice and my line infantry is destroying the the Ottomans also with the help of the fusiliers of line and over here on the right I uh, hope that he doesn't watch uh, his left flank because he micros the center and nothing happened so far so uh, I moved up my fencibles I hope that he will shoot the fencibles but he actually didn't because he had fire it will off I moved up my uh, light infantry troops in light formation over here there's this ridge that's why I uh, have all my troops in the center um, and but he saw it actually and got into light formation but he doesn't shoot because he had fire it will off and he forgot to switch it on again over here the next uh, the next uh, attack is incoming also the Kimat channel series are uh, are coming the 18th region mode of uh, the linear is fighting the mounted Nisamichidit he moved his cavalry through the village but there is this very same problem as uh, over here um, you cannot deploy your units as you want in this in this village because of these uh, small wagons and other stuff he targeted the light infantry I think uh, but uh, his unit got stuck in the militia 
this team at uh, Chemotanisaries are fighting my Connard Rangers, that's very bad for me because this is a very very valu valuable unit but the Chasseurs uh, are used in a defensive way now and um, sent against the Chemotanisaries and they don't really have the forces up here yet the, he sent up his uh, swords but they the especially the Prussian infantry is not yet in position to support them the Bashis as I said came back into the game uh, and are fighting the Voltigeurs the 6th uh, uh, regiment d'infanterie légère is also uh, uh, used as a backline to fight off the, the cavalry another attack coming here still no shooting by the Prussian Fusiliers I lost the square over here and the Connaught Rangers are getting destroyed but my foot guards are in a second line and uh, from square now this is uh, the sideway charge is not a real threat to my foot infantry that's why I didn't form a square here I also have the Colston Guards as a backline. My Light Dragoons are supporting Arthas over here. And he countercharged his research well against the, the Ottoman forces. And over here there is an, a, a, an engagement over here on the, on the far left. The Silata Guard attacks with two line infantry against the Swiss foot but there is an old guard as a back line and Atos formed the square also he has three more Chasseur Cheval over here to guard his flank and there are no mounted Nisamich uh, shooter cuff over here anymore so the Silata guard is the only unit also, the Ottoman general is very far away on the other side. He has this inspiring unit, the Silata Guard, over here, but uh, this is the only one and it's getting shot by three Chasseurs Cheval, so they will be out of the game now. The Russian units are behind the ridge here, down here, so they cannot shoot a a anything here. Only this one has a line of sight. I countercharge my light dragoons against the mounted rifles, the two remaining ones. Here is again the problem with this, uh, with this ridge and the wagon he cannot deploy his troops that's why they move around the here the second old guard is uh, uh, here used as a back line and has a very good position and they will destroy the oh not ac actually not that many losses okay <laughs> maybe the old guard is drunk okay um, he finally opened fire with his fusiliers over here and I concentrate my fire on the line infantry behind because the um, because the light infantry suffered a lot of losses already and is not a big threat anymore and the uh, the lines behind are also easier to hit than the light infantry which is uh, taking cover and uh, kneeing here my fencibles are still alive shooting the musketeers running through the village my uh, light dragoons are in here his center units on the hill flat and the two remaining uh, mounted uh, rifles are around here um, fragmenting Atos uh, deployment but on the far left Atos has the upper hand with his uh, superior cavalry force and um, all his units are advancing 
<coughs> and the Ottomans are retreating to the Bazaar area. They don't have a chance actually against these uh, discovery force and the old guard and the uh, units which are overall in a good shape. Um, but his two uh, mounted rifles did a very good job. They killed all these small units over here. And one of my foot infantry uh, came back into the game and I deployed it and he frontally charges it and I lost the square, nice that's very bad by my by my part but uh, well, they got some shots off I'm pretty busy here, that's why I lost the square I attacked over here and uh, moved up my units over here I formed squares against the lancers here my light dragoons are still behind the ranks of the uh, of the center units. Atlas pushes uh, the Ottomans uh, uh, back into the center. And I still have my three units here in reserve. My foot guards are only 35 in the number. I tried to assassinate the <laughs> the Ottoman general by a rear charge. Very sneaky, but uh, he survived. The Ottoman general has uh, some more men uh, than the classic general staff, so uh, he is more likely to survive uh, attacks by uh, like that. I'm closing in with my. Uh, with my foot infantry here. He has foot guards, F 59 in the number, but my cold steam guards are in the village now. Atos, uh frontally attacks the uh, the Ottomans over here. The general is coming in. I don't know where the cavalry is. Ah, there it is, and here. Uh, he charges the flank of the Ottoman troops with uh, Chasseur Cheval. Unfortunately, the old guard is exhausted because they had to run a long uh, way. That's why the Swiss foot was here earlier. And there is a ridge again. He forces uh, the Ottomans into squares. Finally, uh, Croker lost a square, <laughs> but he overall did most of them. So, the foot guards are the last remaining unit here, apart from the general. And the last Prussians are in the center. My King's German Legion light foot is out of ammunition. Apparently my foot is as well. But Atta still has his uh, his three voltage units. Protected by one old guard and the uh, 18th regiment. Atta's also destroyed the Ottoman units over here. The general, both generals uh, already died, that's why the Ottomans broke around here in quite high numbers. 69. I charged uh, by my foot infantry, which has no ammunition, and the Prussians fled as well. So, this was the game. Good game to our opponents. They did a very good job in anal analyzing our deployment and seeing this gap between us. But uh, they didn't support their cavalry attack that good with their infantry due to the terrain. They were too far away here in the center. 
and uh, others defended very well against the uh, uh, here in the center, on this side especially, and on the far left against the Ottoman rush build. And I uh, did a lot of damage, with especially with my right wing. So, let's have a look at the statistics. The foot guard did, the, did the best job. The cornered ranges uh, were destroyed very heavily in the early stage of the game. I filled the gap uh, with them. The fence was that good as well. Coldstream guards and these two foot infantry were in reserve. That's why they didn't do many kills. And this light foot got charged very often uh, by cavalry. So, see you in the next video. Bye.